What's up? How are you guys this week? It is Tuesday down at Frankie's Free Range Meat and outside of the usual new products and always something exciting going on, we got to do a little moving sale because in about two months uh, we have to relocate and it would be a lot easier if we had less stuff to move. So we're going to bring back the 15% off $500 orders, uh, which it's a bad idea because usually when the order is that big, we have to ship it in two boxes, so it costs us more money. But, you know, again, we'd rather have less stuff in here when we move. It's a bit safer in the meat uh, and stuff. So we're going to be running that for about a month, uh, just trying to kind of get rid of everything. So if you guys have been wanting to, like, stock up, bulk purchase at a really, really good discount, or if you guys just want to place your regular order and help us out just by uh, liquidating some of the inventory so that uh, we can move, and then when we're in the new space, and we can kind of just restock instead of having to kind of transfer everything over there. So well, that's going to be live on the website uh, when this video is posted, guys, if, if you guys do want to uh, support us and kind of keep things moving because I am a little <laughs> irritated to deal with these Amish people, which uh, we'll talk about in a little bit. But first, let's just show you guys what's going on today. Sent almost all of the orders out yesterday, Monday. Uh, we just have a few more foods and egg orders here and maybe like 30 meat orders to do today. So... Uh, it's a little quiet, not that busy right now. Uh, we did restock a few things, some strip steak and some pork. I guess I'll show you guys the new products first. Uh, we got some honey in. This is Spanish orange and wildflower honey. I'll show the pictures on the website right here. I tried this out and it had a really, really unique and strong flavor. It was super aromatic, so I figured uh, if there was a honey to carry, this was it. I mean, I've been wanting to sell honey for a while and the place that we were getting the organic artichokes from also had honey. So I tried it out and just the amount of orange and wildflower flavor in these honeys, it was so overpowering. It was insane. It was like nothing I had tasted before in these American honeys. So it's kind of special. It's really unique. It's really, really, really aromatic and has a lot of depth of flavor to it. If you guys want to try those out, uh, we have them on Frankie's Free Range Foods. I think they're about $12 each. And in the fridge, we brought the prime rib back. So as usual, we do have our rare roast beef. And we got some fresh ribeye in last week, so we decided to make the prime rib again. This is like super, super fatty. It's really, really delicious. Um, if you had this prime rib side by side next to the roast beef, yeah, I mean, it's so different. The flavor and the texture and everything, they're both really, really good, but um, definitely unique experiences. So you guys better buy that prime rib before I lose my mind. <laughs> no, we're just not going to do it again, you know. I sent out an email yesterday if anyone wants the prime rib to have it because we don't usually do it every week and I don't think we've had it for like a few months now so if you guys like it and you enjoy it then um, then you can try it out. Dairy and eggs uh, should be restocked today so we're gonna send another email out and then we'll send all the fresh dairy and egg orders out on Wednesday. Just hop in the freezer if anything's new. I think my guys are packing up some orders right now. We have plenty of the one pound beef bacon. We got some whole beef belly here as well. I gotta list these on the website around five pounds each. Best burger blend this time around is really, really delicious. It's ribeye and some short ribs, super expensive, but we make it affordable. Plenty of organ grind too. The uh, iron roast, we just restocked these today. A lot of you guys like these. And I showed you guys these a few times. We have the plain beef sausage, which is just salt. And then we have some hot dogs, which are made with my custom hot dog blend and smoked. Got some pork ribs back in stock today. You guys really like these St. Louis and uh, baby back pork ribs, great on the grill. I don't know, if you guys don't want these hot dogs and sausages, I might have to send them back to our Amish buddy because I had a conversation with him just like two hours ago. And first of all, for someone, this tape gun is so loud. For someone selling non-USDA inspected meat through a farm share, this Amish guy seems pretty picky. He should be happy that I'm even selling it. And I don't think I've ever made profit like most of the time i've been selling this guy's meat it's just to provide you guys with fresh stuff and retain somewhat of a customer base and offer something special but because of the price and that you guys don't really want the meat for some reason i thought you guys would it just hasn't really worked out that well and this guy is like trying to charge me live weight for these animals and he's telling me the yield is only 30 40 percent so it's just this thing where for some reason most butchers seem to be scumbags and like ripping people off because like the last six or seven cows 
the yield was so bad and I was paying him live weight, I had to say, look, I can't pay you for this. You have to charge me per pound of finished meat product. And we did that for the last time. I'd be selling the hot dogs and sausages for $20 a pound. And I said, look, I can pay you this. That's fine. I sent him a check. And this guy fucking calls me up today, starts saying, oh, I put this much money. I fed these animals. Dude, you have them on grass. What the fuck are you feeding them? Like, and... And he wants me to write him a check for the difference now. So he basically wanted like, I don't know, it was something, it was like four thousand dollars for like, I don't even know. He wa he wanted me to pay him basically retail prices for the sausage. And I'm gonna actually tell him, look, if you have freezer space, you can take this fucking meat back, and that's it. I'm not. It, it's it's ridiculous. It's I don't know what is wrong. This is why I need to have my own meat plant and not deal with this fucking nonsense because. I, I don't know what to do. I don't know. You know. I thought this fresh meat was going good, but it looks like um, we might not be doing the fresh meat anymore. Uh, so we'll see. I'm not really sure. I'm going to wait a day or two before I do anything ridiculous. However, we do have like, I don't know, like 20 pre-orders for the fresh beef. So I'm going to have to figure out in a day or two if we're, we're going to just get one more cow and just finish it off or if I'm going to have to cancel and refund those orders. We'll see. I'm not too happy about it. I'm not too happy about it, but it's whatever. You know, one thing I've learned starting my own business, the color of the person's skin or their religion, what language they speak, none of that shit fucking matters. Everyone's a greedy cocksucker. Besides me, at least. I'm fucking losing my mind in this goddamn warehouse. Uh, you guys have no fucking idea. You guys have no fucking idea. Next, next, literally next week, I could drop all this shit. I could be dancing with Spanish girls in Miami and never have to work another day in my goddamn life. But I'm sitting here try, trying to provide people with healthy products and the nutrition and all that bullshit. But after Dion, because when, when you start a business and, and part of it is helping people and that type of stuff, and you're in a realm of just everyone's trying to make money and, do, and, and no one fucking cares, it's just, it's, not, it's almost like it's not worth it. It's almost like you're, um, what's a good analogy for this? I don't know, imagine like I'm at a swimming pool and I'm giving away life jackets for free because everyone's drowning. And then there's some guy going around trying to sell $600 swimming lessons. You know, like, I don't fucking know. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm done with this shit. Anyway. So, yeah, we got the honey this week. We got the prime rib. And we launched Giga Chad gum last week. So I'll show you guys that real quick. Giga Chad gum, drawline chewing gum. If you guys missed the video on Saturday... Uh, this is just the Masticum with some more clever branding. Pretty cute logo, pretty cute packaging. I'm, I was a little excited for this. We'll see how it goes. You know, I'm shadow banned as fuck, so I don't have high expectations. Yeah, you know, as much as I like to do business with the Amish, I mean, at the end of the day, they want way too much money in most cases. And, uh, you know, a few years from now, I'm eventually just going to have to do everything myself because the, the, the current margins and the price they want for the stuff and what I have to sell it at, it's just not working. It's just not working. I'm going to have to do it all myself. Obviously, don't have enough money to, to get my own farm and processing plant and all that stuff yet. It's just, it just sucks, you know? I think we're going on four years now doing this and I haven't made any considerable amount of money because I'm just being like torn at all fucking ends. Like some type of medieval torture device stretching me out because everyone wants their share. Whether they're directly stealing from me, like lawyers and legal bullshit, or people wanting too much money for their product. Anyway, that's it, guys. If you want to help us out, as I said, we're doing the liquidation sale to move this month. Yeah, I mean, it's a little disappointing and negative, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe something will happen and we'll get another farmer to do the beef for us because... Uh, it's, it's just dumb, dude. They got these cows out there on grass. Their, their cost is nothing, you know? The grass grows. They're not putting that much time into feeding the animals. This guy should be selling this fresh beef to me at half the price he currently is. So we might be able to find someone else to do the fresh beef for us. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, if you guys want the 15% off 500, we're going to do that for a month or two uh, to try to clear everything out. Prime rib is available. We got the honey on Frankie Strange Foods. Maybe we'll do some other new products soon. Uh, we should be restocking some of the biltong and all that stuff either this week or next week as well. But as always, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, if you'd like to support me, all the businesses are on frank-stefano.com. I'm like burned red as hell trying to feel a little better in the sun. Yeah, I mean, I'm not gonna give too many details about the moving stuff because when we actually go to move and do that then I'll 
I'll film some vlogs and I'll show you guys that. It's just, it's, it's a lot of negative stuff, you know. I spent so much money getting the freezer set up in here. It cost me $100,000. And now in this new building I have to move to, I gotta spend another God knows how much to get that up and running. It's just, it's just dumb, you know. It's like working a job for four years and you're not getting paid for it. But, uh, what's the saying? You dig, the, you dig the hole too deep and you can't get out. <laughs> you know, that's what it feels like. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys soon.